plus millions more Americans without an income losing their job because of this pandemic. Breaking right now in the NBC2 Alert Center, there is a multi-million dollar home in Concord, Massachusetts on fire. So John's directing us. Let's please take Sat2 and pull that up full for our viewers at home. They can't get to their homes. They can't get out of their homes. People are parking their cars farther up onto the drier parts. It's Lee County Judge Bruce Kyle sentenced Mark Seavers to death for the killing of his wife, Dr. Teresa Seavers. Southbound on I-75 is about an eight minute delay back to Daniels Parkway. We saw a couple stalled out in the middle of the intersection, pushing it into this parking lot right here. Spray it before you read it. Next, I'm checking the facts if you need to be disinfecting your newspaper. So let's kind of give a recap of what happened. We do know that what happened today is that the accused shooter had a first appearance in court. The judge granted Stephen Xavier no bond. He is being charged with five counts of premeditated murder for that shooting at SunTrust Bank. All right, let's get you back to some breaking news. We've been telling for the past 20 minutes that Cape Coral Parkway East and Coronado Parkway is shut down, but we do not know what, what counties they were because Governor Ron DeSantis did sign an agreement with the FBI to not disclose the names of those counties affected. Look at this. So as a kid in Wisconsin, waking up to this was just such a beautiful sight. Flurries just <gasps> coming down. Look at that. Desolate, white covered lawns and homes just making you want to run out and play in that snow. We need jackets. They Maybe did Chad not does. tell us about this today. Yeah, the bear was spotted along McGregor Boulevard near the Edison and Ford Winter Estates. Then at some point, it made its way to the other side of US 41 and was seen going down Jeff Cut Street. Yeah, our NBC2 <laughs> photographer actually caught up with the bear. I do want to turn our attention to weather and the fact that you just told us that you don't own an umbrella. Yeah, I used my mom's for a bunch of years, <laughs> but uh, yeah, never never actually bought one myself. Nate is so fast, he's able to run yeah, before those like raindrops even get him one. Hey, I'm so tall, I get rained on before all <laughs> That's you guys. True. Look at the back of this trailer. It's all crunched up. There's debris all over the road. Increased tariffs affects clothing, groceries, electronics, furniture, sporting goods, and even more. This picture actually taken by Lieutenant Greg Bueno, who says that hundreds of bees are in his car alone, so it's really just a mess out there. And you said, where is this on Alligator This is Alley? along uh, Alligator Alley, close to the State Road 29 exit, and one of the things, there's actually some crews out there working on the interstate in that area, so maybe the panther or bobcat, whatever the big cat is sitting on top of those electrical poles. Mm. Maybe he's just watching them working. Well, this will be a big talker. NBC 2's Edna Ruiz is there now. And Edna, a lot of people have been asking on our Facebook, is anyone going to get that cat down? NBC 2 anchor Amanda Skripcek found out the best way to send fleas packing. <laughs> so this one is personal, guys. I have had fleas with my pets for the past three years that I've lived here twice. And so I know that a lot of you have gone through the same feelings of frustration, desperation, and panic. 